Okay, guys, I'm doing an unboxing of my Mavic Air 2. I'm excited I got this new drone. And if you want to know how I purchased it for $134, you can click on this video. I'll put a card in the description. I'll put a link also. So just by holding this box, it's very heavy. You can tell this is a good quality drone. I haven't even got it out of the box yet. Retail, this particular drone goes for $7.99 and the Fly More package, I believe is $9.99. So this is a very expensive drone. It feels good in my hands. The build quality is really good. Good materials being used. This is one of the top notch companies that produce drones, DJI. Here is the controller. It feels really good and firm in my hands. The grip is nice. At the bottom, you have the joysticks. Here are the guides and warranty material booklets. And here is the accessory box. These are phone adapters for different kinds of phones, like iPhones, Androids. This is a power adapter, it plugs into the wall and into the power brick. And this cable is used to charge the controller. And this connects to the battery. And these are the propellers. There are six total. You use four and you have two extras. The blue goes to the blue color on the propellers. And the yellow goes to the yellow color on the propellers. And you have to use the right colors for each propeller. These are extra sticks for the controller in case you lose one. All you do is just pop it out at the bottom. Screw each stick in. Very simple, very straightforward. I like how they put it at the bottom because when you're traveling, you wanna throw it in your backpack or any bag, you don't have to worry about the sticks breaking. You can just store it at the bottom. So that's, that's a very good idea they thought of. Before each use, you wanna fully charge every controller and the battery. You have to fully charge the battery in order for the battery to even work. So the first thing you want to do is throw that on the charger while you're getting everything else set up. So I got everything on the charger. Now I just got to wait let it do its thing and I finished setting everything else up with the drone here are the tape that they have on the drone that you have to take off before flying these are the sensors if you get close to something these are the warning sensors and these are the lights you have two more sensors at the bottom two in the back two in the front of the drone.
Again, just take your time. Make sure you got it fully seated in. You do not want to lose a propeller or have a propeller fly off while you're in the air. After you have your propellers on, you can remove all the tape. It's taped in quite a few places, so make sure you get all pieces. After I remove the tape, I take off the gimbal cover. And it's still more tape on the camera, so I remove all that. Again, you want to remove all this tape before you turn on your drone and start it up. Now I'm spreading apart the propellers. You don't have to, but I think it's a good idea too. You don't want any get stuck together, any get caught. So go ahead and spread those propellers apart. And it's still charging. The controller charges pretty fast. The battery on the other hand, it's not as fast, but once it gets done charging, remove the tape. Then put the battery onto the drone. Everything looks good. This is a slot for your SD cards. The drone does have eight gigabytes in storage. On the other side, it is a USB port where you can transfer files from the internal storage to your computer. That's a function button. You can change what functions you want the button to have. Left joystick, return to home button, and you have different flying modes. And there's your power button, your right joystick. pockets for your sticks and a USB charger at the bottom. This is the back. This is where your phone goes into. Fits pretty snug. Don't look like the phone will be going anywhere. <laughs> 